Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can create calculations in reports. I'm also going to look at how you can use a totals feature in a query to get calculations uh, on a table. So first of all, let's have a look at the table in this database, which is just this one, staff training records. It's just a list of people and their salaries. So the first thing I want to do is create a query that's going to group these by department and tell me what the salary spend per department is and also how many people are in that department. So let's do that one. So go up to create, query, just drag the table into the query and I don't want to double click all the fields down. So what I want is department, so I'll double click that one down and then I want salary three times, one, two, three and then surname once. So that's how I want it to be. Now what you have to do is put the totals feature on and it gives you an extra line in the grid. Group by, group by, group by it's on. So I do want to leave it on group by for departments but for salary I want to change that to sum and average and max and for surname I want to put that to count now that's what i want I'm, i've got to do a bit more work to make this look good but let's have a look so that has done what i want it to do it's got this rather wordy title at the top which i'm going to change in a second but it has actually totaled it all up by department so you can see that and then it's got a count of the surnames by department so it's actually working so what i need to do is just go back into design and tidy this up a little bit so in front of the first um salary i'm going to put total as a title with a colon and that will replace the word salary so you can see that down there and then let's just move this up a little bit and then i'll do the same for the average and the max so you just put whatever you want it to be in front with a colon and that replaces the title so that's going to be average this is going to be max with a colon and this is just going to be personnel with a colon Hold on, and then when you run that again, that should replace if you did it right without any typos. So now you've got the information you want across in your query, and you can save that query. Um, I'll just close that, I will just save it as query one for this. Now, when you do a report based on this table, because it's got figures in it, you get extra options when you run the wizard. So I want to run the report wizard. To show you what you get and then i'll create the report manually myself and do the formulas for you so create you've got options here for reports this is the one i want report wizard i want all the fields so i'll just take them across now obviously if there's more than one table you'll have options on this drop down go next now you have to select which field do you want to group by i want to group by department and then it puts it at the top there and then next now this is sorting, I'm not bothered about sorting, but you've got this extra button that you would not have if you didn't have any figures in your table. So I'll click on that one and it gives you some summary options. So I want to sum and average the salary and I also want to show it as a percentage of the total. So I know what the percentage per department is of the total. Okay, let me follow it through again. Next, I want this landscape. You can leave it on stepped next so i need to put um, rpt in front of that to qualify that as a report and then finish so you get a few extra bits and bobs turning up uh, when you run the wizard like this text uh, tell me how many records there are um, and you see that this is all truncated slightly so what you have to do is close print preview get yourself into here, into design, highlight the fields that need expanding and then just pull them across. So I think the salary field needed to come across as well. Let's have a quick look at that. That may well have fixed it already. Yeah, so that looks okay. The total at the bottom is still truncated. So you go back into design and you fix that. This one, so you just pull that across so it's in an equal sort of space is that one and then everything's sorted uh, and if you don't want this text you can get rid of that text it's just 
text in the is this stuff concatenated with field information just, just press delete get rid of that have a look and then just tidy that up a little bit and again obviously that you go back into design and change the title for this report so that's what the wizard would create now what I want to do is do this report myself it's always useful to be able to do a report yourself if you see what the wizard does how how's the wizard done it and then that's how you learn how to do it yourself so I'm just going to close this down I'm not going to save that and I'm going to create a blank report and do all that myself so you're going to create um, report design so it's a blank report and then I need to select um, the table staff training records and then you get the fields now before I bring the fields on I want to group as I did before by department so I'll click on this option it's under the design tab group and sort and then you can add a group comes, comes up with a list I want department so you get a department header but I also want um, it's got without a footer section I want it with a footer section for this and I'm just going to bring this bar up a little bit so you can see that you've got page footer already and page header so department I can get rid of this now so let's hide that make sure you don't click the other cost if just show you that again obviously if you click that you're just deleting what you just done so be careful click this one so departments will go into the department header I don't need the label for this exercise so I'm just going to get rid of the label and just push that into the corner and I'm going to format that to be red and bold and I might even make that a little bit bigger so it stands out size 14 and then you might need to make this box a little bit bigger to to accommodate that change but what you do all the time is when you're doing these sort of things is Go and have a look at what the change looks like so you've got the change there so that's okay um, you can get rid of the, the box around it if you want in the property sheet I'm not too fussed at the moment about getting rid of the the background line but down here are all the um, background style background color um, style there so if I wanted that off transparent let's have a look what that does it's got rid of the box and you can spend a lot of time going through the different format options but that's for another video so I've got the department how I want it so I'll just bring this back up now so back to the fields so I want the surname field to come in here I don't need the label for this so let's have it stepped like this so I'll put it there and I want the salary field to go next to him so get rid of the label so salary and I'll do a video later on on concatenation so you can have these two joined together but if I um, just have a look at this to pull that up a bit have another view so it gives you the different people per department which is what I want now I need to do the totals per department the average per department and the percentage of the total for each department so let's have a look at doing that so to do that you need to use a uh, this tool so I'm on the design tab still and you want the a B button and you need to draw a rectangle and just put it away like so so this is going to be department departmental total and the formula that you need to put in there is the sum function so it's equals sum open the normal bracket for the sum and then referring to the salary salary field has to be in square brackets like that so sum salary and if I close that and have a look so um, that's formatted that okay let's have a look at that so what I've done there is I put that in the wrong place it needs to go in the department footer so let's just cut that out of there that's why you check things and that needs to go in the department footer otherwise it does it for everything and I'll just move that across again so I'll put it to there and I'll bring the label back a little bit so you need to sit on these little square blocks to pull the label back now that should be the department footer let's have a look yeah for the same price it needs to be formatted to pounds so let's go back into that and format that to pounds so back to the property sheet onto format currency 
and that should put that into pounds in the UK, dollars in America or wherever you are based and I'm looking at that and I'm thinking that probably needs to go right across to the margin. You can play around with the layout later on um, but let's let's just get rid of this space here that will just tidy that up a little bit let's have a look what it looks like now probably too close and I'm not liking this at all so we need a bit of gap a bit of a gap there um, so let's just pull that down say like that now what I want also is the average so it's the same sort of thing you draw the little a B box and the formula for average is equals A B G so it's not like Excel open the square bracket open the normal bracket and square bracket for salary close both brackets check that works so that should be the same as that and the average for this 81 that's correct and then that needs to be formatted to currency so back into design format currency so we know that works and that's going to be label departmental average departmental average just move that up like so and again we can keep having a look I'm going to probably push this over this side later on um, back into design so now what I need to do is do the the actual report total and to do that I need to get the report footer on here so to do that you sit on the page footer and just right click you can add report header and footer which will give you the front page of your report and then the report footer is what you can do for the total so if I click on that one copy it and then paste it into the footer that will do the the whole total for the whole company. So if I just put total on there, so that's let's backspace that work. Because this is the actual total. And again, if I just move this over, so because I've copied it, it's already formatted to currency. So if I go and have a look at that, just to check that it has actually done that. So there's three nine one three hundred ninety one thousand two hundred and forty pounds, so that has done it. So everything is looking cool. So the last thing I want to do is do the percentages. So I need to do another field in here to do the percentages. Now this is just slightly a bit more involved. But what I need to do is just make a space for it. Another A, B box. Draw your rectangle. Now before I do it, before I do the formula, what I need to do is name this cell, this box and that box. So to name that, I'm just going to go over to properties, go to all, and it's got name there. I'm going to call that total, in fact, I'm going to call that subtotal, subtotal, and I'm going to call this one total, total, and then you can then do this formula in this little box so it's going to be equals total divided by it's going to be equal subtotal even divided by total and that needs to be set to a percent so that needs to be formatted to a percent so format percentage then we call that um, it's going to be departmental, I'll just call it percentage. Percentage, have a look. 10.69, 20% of the total, this is. And there you go. Now, we need to fix these, I think. Now, you can highlight all of this and select... Um, arrange and make it tabular or stat but you've got to be careful when you do stuff like that that you don't then make it more difficult to change things later on so I'm going to try and move these manually just to 
show you how you can do that. So I'm just going to use my arrow keys to shift them across. Um, let's just go right across and make it a bit wider. So like so. And if I then just click off that and put, just pull this one back to so it's in the same line as those. Like so. And then this one needs to do the same. Needs to move across. Be in the same sort of alignment as the ones above. And then for your report title, it's basically going to put a text box in there um, at the top for your report title. So this is an AA button. You just draw that and position that and just call that staff details or whatever you want to call it. Now when you click away from that, you format the box. You make the box larger. You don't actually highlight the font like you would do in Word. So it's the box you, you manage. So I want that to be quite large, so let's put that to 20, I want that to be in the middle, and let's say I want that to be um, some strange colour, um, pink, that's not the best colour with that background, but and bold. And if you have a look at that, you go back to the design, and then look, you, that's your report total, so that would be the first page. If this was many pages, which it's not, that would be the first page. And you can have that the full size of an A4 page. You just make it bigger. Just bring this box, bring this line down. So this page header is what will appear on the top of every page. So if I do another AE box there and just do a smaller one. So this is like departments. And again, you format the box. So this time I'll just do it something silly. So I'll do a color scheme as well. So I'll make it pink and bold and change the font to black and then if I show you that one so have a look that will only that will appear on every page and if I'm going to print preview um, you can see that that's print preview so we've got no footers so just close print preview and go back into design now, you can um, put the date and time for the report in there. You can put the page numbers at the bottom on, on the footer area. Um, just a little formulas to equal the page and date and time at the top there. Now, you've got this, these options up there. If I click on page number, that's probably the easiest one to do. Page uh, N of M, page 1 of 2 and so on and so on. Top of page, no. Bottom of page, centre, yeah, okay. It goes in there look like so. Have a look. Page one of one back into design and then if you want the date and time you've got different options for date and time um, include date include time don't need the time and then okay and that just goes equals date so you could have typed that and then if you view that it's a July 2021 and you can change the format of that if you want you, know, you can go into different options through the format button there. So you've got all these medium date, short date, etc. But I quite like that one. So that's basically how you create a report using the wizard. And some people might say, why don't you just use the wizard? Because that was quite a simple one. Sometimes when you use the wizard, it takes you longer to fix the truncation that the wizard quite often does than it would if you just did it yourself. And also when you do it yourself like this, it's down to you. you you're you learning the process of creating um, the formulas, understanding the layout of the groups, where the headers work, how they work, report headers, report footers, and what, how page headers and page footers work as well. So I think it's a lot easier to do it yourself and learn it yourself than it is just to rely on wizards all the time. But obviously the wizard would have been quicker um, to get it, get it started, but then you'd spend a lot of time uh, almost as much time doing doing the repair on the wizard as you would is if you just created this from scratch so that's all i want to talk about in this little video so hopefully that was of use to you and you enjoyed it and i'll thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one